Hey guys, welcome to my 27 week update. So this week, baby is the size of a camping lantern, which I will show you guys a picture of it in case you weren't sure of what a camping lantern was. <laughs> This is um, what it says on the Ovia app. So yes, he's the size of a camping lantern. He's also the size of a bunch of bananas, which is, it's okay to picture, like I get bananas every week, but like there's a million different sizes of bananas. Some are longer bananas, some are shorter bananas. Some bananas come in bunches of three, four, five. So it's like, how big is he really? I don't know. The baby is also the size of a finnick fox. <laughs> so, lots of things to compare baby to, I guess. So, this week, baby's organs are basically developed, and so now all of the development is going towards baby's brain and just getting him to regulate temperature and getting ready for that. Not that he needs it right now, but he will once he's born. And then also just getting ready for all the brain functions that he's gonna need. Baby is also continuing to practice opening and closing his eyes as well. So yeah, just a lot of brain development, getting um, the ability to control his limbs and his body temperature as well, which are very important things for him to know. <laughs> this week, um, I feel like Baby is, his movements are a lot more powerful lately. I feel them a lot more, they're harder jabs. Um, the other day, I swear I could feel him like poking something out on my like top left side, and I was like pushing on it, and it was hard, and it kind of hurt to push on it. And I think that was like his butt, or maybe it was the heel of a foot or something. I don't know, but I was like, oh, that hurts. Um, I've been having a lot of like lower left rib pain lately, and I think it's just he's like pushing up on that. And so it's been really sore lately. I've also been having a lot of back pain. Um, I've been having to like sit with a pillow on my under my back. Um, I'm not sure like if that's his position or it's just from like my belly getting a lot bigger and so it's like a lot heavier in the front and so my spine is having to like compensate for that. I haven't had to wear, I do have like a belly band. I, I wore it a little bit last pregnancy when I was pregnant with Grayson. I have not had to break it out yet but I do have it in case it does get worse. But yeah, his movements are a lot more forceful and finally this week I finally felt him have the hiccups. I've only felt it once so far and truth be told he could have had hiccups before now and I just haven't noticed it because I've been busy with life and a toddler but last night I finally felt him have hiccups and it's the strangest thing because with Grayson I felt his hiccups like high up on my belly and with this baby he must be sitting so low because I felt the hiccups like in my cervix area like down by my pelvic bone. It was like the weirdest feeling to feel like constant like bumps down there. Um, and when he moves, like I said, his movements are getting more powerful and oh my gosh, I swear he's like punching my cervix, like trying to get out already. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. And it's so weird because I did not have those kind of feelings with Grayson. Like all of Grayson's movements were up high on my belly and this one is like so low it's just so different i've been doing awesome on heartburn i've not had to take tums in weeks and i do get heartburn like here or there but it's very minimal and it goes away very fast so that's been awesome i've still been dealing with charlie horses um, i do feel my legs will cramp up especially when i first wake up in the morning like I'll just notice that my legs will be like very stiff and so I'll have to like try to relax them so I don't get another Charlie horse cramp. So um, I've been dealing with that. I've been really, really tired lately. My sleeping has been better um, and last week my sleep was pretty good too. So I'm two, I'm two for two on the past two weeks for sleeping wise. I've been doing a lot better. Watch, I just jinx myself, I don't know, but I've been sleeping through the night. Um, the only time I wake up is, um, it's very minimal, like I'll go several days with just sleeping through the night. So I've been doing a lot better with that. 
I still haven't gotten my pregnancy pillow. I'm looking at it, it's laying on my floor right now. I really need to start using it because I'm sure that would help with my back pain. But I just, I don't know, I guess I just don't think about it until the morning and I'm like, oh, I should have used that. <laughs> But it probably would help because my belly is getting a lot bigger. I've noticed my belly seems a lot bigger this week. I just, I feel like I'm as big as I was with Grayson at the end. I know that's not true because I still have a long way to go, but man, my belly just feels huge right now. So let me show you um, a belly shot. I'm actually wearing a tight-fitting shirt today, so you'll get a good view of my belly. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing a maternity shirt. This is just from Target. It's just a black v-neck shirt. But here is my belly. I feel like it has grown a lot this week. Like, I'm just feeling huge. <laughs> I will, like, be getting ready to go in and out of the shower or something, and I'll just be naked, and I'll look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am huge. Like, I just feel so big. And my belly feels like hard in certain areas where baby is. Like it just feels different this week. So um, I believe 28 weeks starts the third trimester. So yeah, this is the end of the second trimester, which is sad because the second trimester has always been the best trimester for me and a lot of women. And the third is when everything starts to get uncomfortable. So I'm not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to getting towards the end and like seeing baby. I'm really excited to see what he looks like and if he's going to look like Grayson or a totally different combination. I just can't wait. We still have not figured out a name for baby, so stay tuned for that, I guess. My face, so I used to be dealing with a lot of like dry skin on my face. I never really had a problem and then ever since I've been pregnant, like my face has just been so dry lately. But I've been using this moisturizer in the shower and now my face is like so smooth and soft. It feels so much better. It's getting difficult to bend over. Um, to pick things up my belly just it really hurts my belly when I have to bend like that and so I try to avoid doing things like that um, I also get exhausted very easily um, just doing day-to-day -day things um, I just don't have a lot of energy right now <laughs> my dreams have been really normal lately I haven't talked about like crazy dreams in the past couple weeks but yeah, my dreams have been um, normal. I really haven't been dreaming that much, um, just because I'm just so exhausted. I think when I hit the, the pillow every night, I just get so tired at night. I cannot stay up very late, and thankfully I fall asleep pretty easily with how tired I am. I am still hungry a lot of the time. Um, I still crave desserts like crazy and ice cream. And um, this past week was my birthday. I turned 27 and so we had chocolate cake and oh man, it was just so yummy and we were gonna go out and walk to ice cream and then it just got to be too late so everybody had to leave and I was so sad we couldn't go walk to ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, I just love all the sweets. I recently weighed myself and it's been a while since I have weighed myself and I weighed in at like 18 pounds so it's quite a jump um, I was weighing like 14 pounds and then I went down to like 12 pounds and now I'm at like 18 pounds um, still in the normal range nothing to be worried about but it is a jump but I mean it makes sense my belly's getting huge and baby's getting big he's um, a little under two pounds now um, according to my apps and so yeah, I mean, I'm just starting to put on the pounds. Um, next week, yeah, next week, I can't even keep track of like all the weeks. Next week, I will have my doctor, my next doctor's appointment, my 28 week doctor's appointment. I have not been to the doctor since 20 weeks, so eight weeks ago. I mean, it's been a long time, two months. Um, again, like I've said before, they're just trying to keep appointments minimal due to coronavirus. Um, it's getting a lot better in Ohio. Our cases are going way down. Our deaths are going way down. Um, I'll be interested to hear from my doctor if any of the visitor policies in the hospital have changed. 
Um, last I heard, you could only have one visitor in the hospital and they had to stay. They were not allowed to leave at all. If they left at all, then they could not come back. And you had to wear a mask the whole time. So I'm hoping by the time September comes around, things will be looser um, and not so strict. So I'm hoping that policies change soon. So it'll be interesting to hear about that. I will have my gestational diabetes test. I have the drink down in my fridge. It's been there for eight weeks now. Um, so I'm sure I'll record me drinking that and I'll get a couple shots because I have um, a negative blood. So I have to get the Rogam shot. And then I think I'm getting the Tdap shot as well, um, just to pass those antibodies onto baby. I think I got it with Grayson last time too. They do not feel good. Um, those shots, both the shots, the Rogam shot and the Tdap shot sting and they hurt while we're going in, but like obviously it's worth it. So um, a lot of people in my baby center app, um, you, there's like chats and people just post questions. A lot of people were saying that they were refusing the Tdap shot, um, which I was kind of surprised about. I mean, I think any vaccine that the doctors recommend you should follow, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, be tuned for next week. I'll have lots more information about baby. Uh, we'll hear the heartbeat. No ultrasound. I think we're done with ultrasounds until baby's born. Um, unless something goes wrong and we have to do an emergency one, but um, I don't think we'll see baby anymore. And so um, I'll have more details for you. I'm looking forward to it. And then it'll be interesting it'll be interesting to see after the 28 week if they want to see me every month now or like how often they'll want to see me. So I'll have all that information next week for you guys. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.